Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we have a huge Princess Polly haul. A lot of really great items transitioning from summer to fall, which I've said before, but I feel like it's the most awkward transitional time because the mornings are kind of cold and you get that nice fall feeling, but then by like two o'clock, it's 90 degrees here. So our September is definitely still hitting some summertime, but a lot of these pieces are really great for that transition. But before we jump into the full try on haul, be sure you take the time right now and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post. I post new videos every Thursday and Saturday. And yeah. Let's jump into the haul. So starting it off, we're gonna look at the tops. The first top I have is this cute little black bodysuit. And this one has such a fun back feature, which helps make it very summery in my opinion. I recently wore this when it was like literally 90 degrees out and I really appreciated having such an open back. Like the breeze was really helping. But yeah, so this one has a stunning, stunning open back on it, like a very low open back, which I think is just so cute and fun and perfect for summer and fall. Dressing it up for fall, you can easily just throw a jacket on top of it. Looks like just a regular black bodysuit. For summertime or while it's still hot outside, you can get the relief of an open back. The sides also kind of cut down low, which is really fun and just adds a little bit more dimension and a little bit more style to the top. And the material on this one is kind of like a cotton material so some of these bodysuits you'll see are more of that performance material where it's a little bit more spandexy and stretchy this one is a little bit more like a cotton top so not in that super performancey category but still really nice quality also other than the big open back and the side details this is a pretty basic tank top so something that I think can pair with a lot a lot of different styles you can wear it with jeans with a skirt you can really dress it up and dress it down just depending on what other items you want to wear with it and accessorize. Also, the fact that it's black, again, it makes it a really great wardrobe neutral and, again, it can pair well with so many different styles and colors. I am wearing this one in a size zero and I will say, Princess Polly, I do have to be a little bit more conscious on the sizing that I get because some of their items do actually run quite small. I ran into this a little bit with some of their dresses in my last haul, but I will say the zero zero in this bodysuit is a perfect, perfect fit for me. So if you are close to that extra small sizing, I would say a zero probably works well for you. But yeah, so just something to be aware of. Sometimes their sizing is a little bit tricky to figure out. But yeah, so for this one, a size zero I think works great. I also do tend to like my bodysuits to be a little bit more on the small side just because they are just one piece. I'd rather it be a little bit more fitted than a loose bodysuit. So yeah, that's just generally my preference. So when it does come to a bodysuit, I will kind of tend to size down. Also to factoring in the fabric on this one, the cotton. It's not too like spandexy and tight where if it's too small, it kind of makes it a bit more unflattering because of the fabric on it. Even if it is running a little bit small, I think it still can be a flattering top. Yeah. So sizing, size zero, works well for me. And yeah, overall, I think this is such, such a perfect transition top from summer to fall. All right, and then next up in the haul, we've got this little cream turtleneck. And I think this one is so cute and just a great basic and eventually layering piece for the fall time. Because it has the long sleeves and turtleneck, this looks really good layered under different items. And because it's cropped, you don't run into too many layers kind of trying to tuck in the things or being boxy under you. So I think the crapness of it really does help it be a great layering piece. Also, I do just like it on its own. I think it's a really cute top, especially going from summer to fall. You want something a little bit lighter, but still in that fall look with the turtleneck and long sleeves. I think similar to the black top, this is honestly a really a great wardrobe basic, something that can easily be styled in so many different ways. It is that neutral cream color. Also, the style on this one isn't too, too funky or different. It's a pretty standard long sleeve turtleneck. I will say quality wise on this one is a little bit thinner. So I was worried that some of the tops and undergarments might be a little 
little see-through in this one. I feel like if you go with a skin tone color undergarment, you're fine. But definitely not able to wear a bright red bra under this top. Like, it it'll probably show through. Otherwise, I think the quality is really nice on it. The fit on this one, I think, is perfect. I am wearing a size 2 in it, so different from the bodysuit, I did actually size up in this one and go with the size 2, and I'm really glad I did. This one is a little bit more fitted, so I think the 2 was a great option. The 0 would have probably been just too tight on me and generally uncomfortable. I feel like with long sleeve tops, once they get too tight, kind like around here it can just get like claustrophobic and just really uncomfortable so I think going a size up is a better fit for me but yeah again I normally like an extra small small so that size 2 is perfect I could possibly get away with a size up even from a size 2 but I don't want this top to get too too baggy because I think the sleeves on it I think is a good fit and I like those to be pretty fitted along with just the rest of the top especially if I'm using this as a layering piece in the future I don't want it too baggy because that kind of defeats the purpose of it being a flattering layering piece and laying flat as a layering item but yeah so size 2 I think is a good fit for me and then overall I think this is such a really cute top I think it pairs really well with jeans but because it is neutral you can really dress it up dress it down in different ways and although the style is looking a little bit more fall with the turtleneck and sleeves I think the fact that it's cropped and pretty lightweight still makes it a great option for the end of summer all right and then next up we've got another bodysuit for you guys so this one is actually a long sleeve bodysuit and I will say the style on this one is probably the most basic of all of the tops like there isn't too too much of a styling element to it or something funky or different it is truly just a really great basic and this one is actually in that performance kind of spandexy stretchy material which makes it really really comfortable like this is a very comfortable fabric and I really appreciate that for something that's so form-fitting that it feels good when you wear it and not like scratchy and uncomfortable but yeah so really really love the fabric on this one I also like the color I feel like I don't really dive as much in it to the grays and that's something I kind of want to focus on building out my wardrobe is to incorporate a little bit more gray into my neutrals and I think this is a perfect way so with this bodysuit I'm actually wearing in a size 2 which kind of back to the fabric on it I think because it is that more spandexy stretchy material going a size up makes it still fit well but be a little bit more flattering a lot of times with this material if you get it too small it really shows every lump and bump and everything going on so going a size up I think is definitely a more flattering option so yeah I really like the fit of this size too I know also with bodysuits it can get a little bit uncomfortable with like the actual length of it and your torso size I don't have any problems with princess poly bodysuits I think they actually fit really well in that way. I don't find them awkward or too long or too short, so just letting you know my thoughts on that because I know that is kind of a question. Some bodysuits, they do fit a little funky in the length. But yeah, I think the two is just all around a really great fit for me. I also do like this scoop neckline on this. I think it is just a really pretty style, and I do think this top is also a really nice layering piece because it is so form-fitting. It's a great base to add more on top of, whether it be another sweater, a vest, a jacket, for all of those, I think this is a really great base and starting point. Also, just a great basic in general. Again, I feel like a broken record. You can dress this up, you can dress this down any which way. And even with that fabric being a little bit different, I think it still can be dressed up really nicely. This top, though, is probably the least summery of all the tops that I have. This definitely leans more towards fall and winter time, but it is a lightweight stretch material, so while it is a style that is more fall and winter, I think for the summer heat, you can still kind of get away with wearing this. But yeah, overall, I think this bodysuit is just a really nice basic to incorporate into your fall wardrobe. All right, and we are already down to our last top. So this one is, again, another bodysuit. I guess I was just kind of on a, a bodysuit kick. 
at Princess Polly. I just have so many really cute ones. So yeah, here is another bodysuit and this one I have in the color Bone, which is a light sandy tan color. Again, a really great neutral for your wardrobe. This one, it's similar to the first bodysuit, is very business in the front and party in the back or just open in the back. So this does have a very open back in it, which kind of circling back again is really helpful for the summer months while it's still hot outside. You know, having an open back is a huge game changer. Like, it makes a difference. I really do think this is a cute and fun style. The only thing I will say is it is a little bit awkward on the wear because you kind of like pull up the sleeves all the way but they don't doesn't like go across your back so I feel like I would want to have some like fabric tape to kind of hold down the back of the sleeves just for a little bit more security and I don't feel like it's gonna just pop off while I'm wearing it that could also go into sizing of it so I am wearing this in a size zero and it is quite fitted but I actually like that it's fitted because I feel a little bit more secure in the top not coming off like if I got a bigger size it might be a little more loose and not stay up as well or if it's too tight it's like squeezing at the top and just ready to pop off so I think finding the sweet spot on this sizing is important for this top but yeah again I am wearing this one in a size zero and I think it is a good fit but I still would probably want to put some sort of fabric tape just to have that extra security when I'm wearing it out but even though there's that little bit of awkwardness. I think the design is so so cute so just worth a little bit of hassle for fashion. I do like the neckline on the front. It's a little bit higher of a neckline which I think is just really chic and fun. Also having the fitted long sleeves this makes a great layering piece especially for fall and winter time. This one is also in that performance spandexy kind of material so different from the last one I think the zero actually is a good fit for me it's not unflattering or too tight but just something to note if you do go too small of a size it could get a little unflattering on the body this really is just another great wardrobe basic great building block for a lot of different outfits it is in that neutral color which makes it really easy to style and pair it with a lot of different looks and different items in your wardrobe and because of that long sleeve style I think it is really a great item to move into fall but also with the open back and more lightweight material still makes it easy to wear in the hotter month than the end of summer yeah overall I think this is another really great summer to fall transition piece and just in general a great wardrobe basic all right and that was all of the tops in this haul and now moving on to just a single dress I was gonna say dresses but I really just picked out one so here is the one dress from this haul so it is just a really cute satin mini dress and I think this is honestly such a great great way to incorporate something summery like a short mini dress but still have it transition well into fall and winter because of the material on it that satin I think works really well in fall and winter time also the color of it it being black that's a great neutral and not too summery and too light of a color so I think this is just a really great piece to transcend the seasons and even be worn all year round so yeah just a really great way to get a lot of use out of one wardrobe item and I really do like the style on this one I think it's so cute with that v-neck a little bit thicker straps and it also has a little bit of a tie for the waist I am wearing this in a size 2 I feel like in general Princess Polly dresses do a run a little on the small side so going a size up doing the size two I think is a perfect fit for me also you do have the little strings to tie it up so if it is feeling a little bit big you can kind of adjust the size with that I will say this one unfortunately it does not have adjustable straps on it but I think the sizing of the straps are good the only part of the fit in the size two that's a little big on me would just be the chest area might need some different sizing there but I just wore it with some fabric tape to kind of tape that down and in place but yeah so a little bit 
big up top but definitely not unwearable by any means I can still wear it out I don't think it's a full size down that I need but yeah so if you are a little bit bigger up top this might be a really great dress for you and then yeah just the style of it because it is a satin dress I feel like that fabric is really easy to dress up and dress down also like I said it's really easy to style in a more summery way and also in a fall and winter way just with the different layers and accessories that you can put with it but yeah so overall I think this dress is such a hit and such such a great way to get one item that you can wear in so many different ways and through every single season. All right, and now moving on to bottoms. So first up, I have just a very classic pair of high-waisted jeans. These ones do flare out a little bit at the bottom, so a little bit more of a boot cut. They are a little bit longer on me for the length, which I actually really like. I feel like a lot of my jeans right now are kind of more of a crop style, so it's nice to have a pair that actually goes all the way down to the floor, giving some variety to my jean style. I also like the wash on these. They are a fairly light denim, but not too, too light. It's kind of a, a neutral light denim, which I think is really great transitioning into fall. Having too, too light of a denim kind of just looks a little bit more summery, more for summertime. Having this more neutral, but still kind of light denim is a perfect transition into the fall season. I also like the high-waistedness on them. I think it's really cute and flattering. I know that low-rise jeans and mid-rise are definitely making a comeback right now, but I still think a nice pair of high-waisted jeans is always going to be in style. I am wearing these in a size 2, and I think the fit is really nice. Again, I am a little bit weary of sizing for pants at Princess Polly because they can run on the small side. But yeah, I feel like the size 2 is a perfect fit. I could possibly go down to a zero in this one because there is a little bit of extra room in the waist area but I normally run into that a lot with high-waisted pants because of the fit of them. They sometimes have a little bit of room in the waist but fit everywhere else. I will say I do tend to like having a little bit of room in the waist just because I like to tuck things in to high-waisted pants a lot, especially moving into fall, maybe tucking some sweaters in. It's nice to have a little bit of space in there. But yeah, so I'm not upset with the fit. I think it's actually really perfect for how I'm going to be wearing these pants. And then the style of them, I really do like that there's virtually no distressing on them. I think that makes it a really nice pair of jeans to dress up as opposed to ones with a lot of distressing. Sometimes it's harder to make those a bit more formal. But yeah, I think having just a really nice sleek pair of jeans, no distressing, pretty basic and simple is a great basic for your wardrobe and a great way to kind of add that to a capsule, more more minimalist wardrobe where you can get a lot of use out of it and it's not too much of a statement piece if that makes sense so I really do like the style on this one I also think again it's a great way to transition from summer to fall having that lighter wash that's kind of summery but not too too light that it can still transition into fall I think works really well again I really like the length on this one I'm able to wear my boots with it and it looks nice and yeah overall I think these are just a really nice basic pair of blue jeans. All right, and then next up for bottoms, I'm so excited about this one. I've got a little split hem denim maxi skirt, and I think this style is just so, so cute. I recently did a video styling a denim split hem maxi skirt, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll be sure to link it up here for you guys, as well as in my description on this video, but I just think that these are so, so cool, and definitely a fun, funky item for fall this year. I will say this is probably definitely more on the trendy side of things and not as much of a wardrobe basic or staple, but I feel like for now it's always fun to kind of incorporate some of those more trendy pieces just to really refresh the rest of your wardrobe. But yeah, the style I think is so, so cute. I really like the wash on this denim. It's not too, too dark, but it's also not too light. I am wearing this one in a size 2 and I think the fit is perfect on it. Again, there is still a little bit of room at the top. I do like that. For 
for me to be able to tuck things into it, similar to the jeans. So I think the size 2 is perfect on this, and I really, really love the maxi length of this skirt. I think it's so fun and cute and really perfect for fall time. Yeah, overall, I think this skirt is just so, so cute and such a fun way to incorporate something a little bit more trendy into your wardrobe. All right, so before we get into my last item in the haul, I will give a couple honorable mentions. I did get a pair of boots from Princess Polly, so the boots that I'm wearing in most of these outfits are from the site, and they're just these classic black booties. I think they're really cute and a really great wardrobe staple, easy to obviously wear a lot of outfits off of. Yeah, so those boots, super cute, wearing in a size 5. I will say they are a little bit big, but I also just have kind of small feet, so I expect size 5 to sometimes be a little bit too big for me. And then another item in this haul, I did get a cute little headband from Princess Polly, and I think the headband trend is definitely making a comeback. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of headbands too, too much, but I feel like they're coming. Like, I feel like this is going to be a big fall trend, but we'll see. I have a headband either way. Alright, and now moving on to my last item in this haul is going to be this brown leather jacket. And and this jacket is so cool. I think it's just such a fun oversized look. Also a really great statement piece for your outfits. So throwing this jacket on like people are going to notice it is such a cool style. But not too like crazy funky out there. It's just a really nice jacket. I do like it in the brown color. I think that is perfect for the fall season. This probably isn't great for summertime, so definitely more of a true fall piece and going into winter as well. But yeah, I just think the style is so, so cute. I'm wearing it in a size 2. I wasn't sure the sizing on this one too much because it is supposed to be quite oversized, so I just played it safe and went a little bit of a size up in it just to make sure it still had that oversized look. I didn't want it too small where it looked kind of awkward or didn't fit right, but I am really glad I did go with this size too. I think it is a perfect fit. This does also come in black and a really stunning burgundy color. I was so close to getting the burgundy one, but ended up going with the brown just because I don't really have a lot of brown jackets. But yeah, so I think the coloring on this is so, so pretty and overall just a really great fall jacket. Alright, so that was my fall Princess Polly haul. Just a lot of really great items for your wardrobe to transition from the summertime to fall time. As always, I will link everything I tried on today in my description down below. I also have a discount code for you guys help save some money. So if you are going to shop any of these items or any other items on the website, be sure to use my code. And yeah, if you enjoyed this review try on haul, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, give it a like, share it with your friends. Also, let me know in the comments down below if there's any other stores you want me to kind of pull some summer to fall transition pieces from. Um, I'm curious to hear where you guys like to shop. Also, while you're down there in the comments, don't forget to subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.